Hello viewers and in this uh, very class uh, we're going to look at the derivative of tan x cot x sec x as well as uh, cosec x uh, that will be uh, our uh, the detail of this class we are going to look at this uh, uh, um, trigonometric uh, function. Now, if we have uh, the first one, y is equal to tan x. Uh, tan x uh, is the same thing. It has the same uh, ratio as uh, sin x over cos x. So, here yeah, it, it simply means that tan x uh, is the same thing as sin x over cos x. Here, uh, this function is now a uh, quotient. So, we use quotient rule to establish this. I will know that quotient rule uh, the y the x is equal to the, the u the x minus u the v uh, the x all over v squared. We have established uh, that in our previous class. Here, our u is the numerator. Uh, our u is sin x. And our v is the denominator, which is uh, cos uh, x. Uh, so our du, the du, the, the x, that means if we differentiate sign, is going to give us uh, cos x. Uh, our dv, the s, if we differentiate uh, cosine, is definitely going to give us minus sine x. So we fix it in this uh, formula here. Fix it in our formula. It says v, du, the s. That is v, du, the s. Our v is cos x. Our v is uh, what? Uh, cos x times the u dx our du dx x our du dx is cos x uh, that means is times cos x in close bracket it say minus u minus u our u is sin s that is minus sin x uh, times the v dx our dv dx is minus sin s so we have a minus uh, sin x all uh, everything over v square our v is this that means is cos square x so and if we do this cos x times cos x that will give us um um the y ds will give us a uh, cos square x minus times minus become plus Sine x times sine s that will give us sine square x uh, all over cos square x. Okay, now from trigonometry, cos square s plus sine uh, square s is equal to 1. So here we have a uh, that is y prime is equal to 1 over cos square x. And then uh, 1 over cos, 1 over cos is sec, is sec. So here, uh, this will become a um, uh, sec uh, square x. So uh, if the derivative of tan x is equal to sec uh, x. Okay, now let's uh, look for the other one. Y, the derivative of y uh, is equal to cot x. Cot x. Cot here is the inverse of tan. So uh, cot is simply... Uh, cos x over sine x okay so we also apply the same principle here yeah? our u is this and our v uh, is this so our u u prime the derivative of of u here is minus sine x and uh, our v prime that is the derivative of that is the v the s give us a uh, cos x so we apply it in this same formula we apply it in this same formula uh, where we say v du 
our V is this. It's sine X and our DU is this. So we have a uh, sine X bracket minus sine X. Okay. Here we have a minus. Here minus U the V. Our U is cos X and our DV is uh, is cos X. So here we have a um, cos x and our dv our dv is also what uh, cos x uh, everything over uh, v square and our v here is this so it's going to give us sine square x so if we move if we simplify this this will give us minus sine square x minus cos square x all over sine square x here minus is common here so we can factor the negative at negative uh, then we have a sine square x plus cos square x all over sine square x here sine square x plus cos square x is 1 and then uh, our dy dx there, which is y prime, the first derivative of cos x, we call minus 1 over sine square x. And 1 over sine, 1 over sine is uh, the inverse of, that is cos. 1 over sine is cos. So here we have a minus, I mean cosec, minus cosec square x. So if we find the derivative of cot x, of cot s, it's going to give us minus cos x square x. Okay? Now let's find uh, the derivative of sec. Sec. Sec x. Sec x. Let's find the derivative of sec x. The first thing we have to look at here is that what is cos? What is this is sec? We are looking at sec x. We have done with cos. Sec simply means here what is the inverse of the equivalent of sec x is one is one inverse of uh, cos is sec. Okay, so here we have a cos x. Here we we'll also apply uh, the quotient rule here because here we have a, a quotient. Mm -hmm. So here our u is the numerator, our u is 1 and our v is uh, cos x. Then u prime which is your du, we you differentiate this is 0. Uh, if we differentiate this uh, that means the V will give us minus uh, sine S. So we apply it to this formula V the U minus U the V all over V square. Here uh, Y prime becomes uh, our e, our V X that means cos X times the U our D U is zero minus minus U our U is 1 times dv, our dv is minus uh, sine x all over all over v square. So and our v is cos square x cos square x. So here uh, 0 multiply cos s is 0 so minus times minus here become uh, plus so y the y ds is equal to our uh, sine x all over cos square x. So here uh, we need to simplify this further. Uh, this one simply means sine x over cos x times one over over cos x. So we have it cos square x here. That means sine over cos times one over cos. Okay. And we also said here just now that 1 over cos is sec. So sine over cos, uh, that will give us uh, sec. 
set x uh um I mean no exactly yes sine over cos that will give us tan x so our answer will be tan x uh, uh san, tan s sec sec uh, x so the derivative of um uh, sec of sec uh, if we see y equals to sec x the derivative is is um tan x uh, uh sec x okay now the last one here has to do with a uh, cosec 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 now let's look at cosec cosec is the inverse of uh sine so cosec x if we say y is equal to cosec cosec x that means y is equal to one over one over sine x Okay, now let's find the derivative of the derivative of this. Similarly, uh, our u is the numerator, which is one, and uh, our v is the denominator. And uh, our du du ds is zero, and uh, our dv ds is cos uh, x. Applying this in our formula. Uh, the y prime first derivative is uh, v is a uh, v du v is sin x our du is zero minus u our u is one times uh, dv which is a uh, times cos x all over sine square x so here y prime zero times sine x that will be all we have a minus uh, cos minus cos x over over sine square x okay uh here this one simply means that y prime is equal to minus cos x over sine x times one over sine x and this this cos over sine is cos this gives us give us minus cos x and then one over sine uh is also cosec uh cosec uh, x so uh the derivative of cosec x is minus cos s cosec uh, x uh this is how we can uh, you know find the derivative 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 of tan x cot x sec x and uh, cosec x uh using uh the quotient uh, rule first thing you must know yeah their identity what they represent their inverse and from there you establish this formula and bit by bit uh the answer uh will surface please uh all you help me do help me subscribe and also share this uh, information to that platform have a nice time see you in my next virtual class